we'll try those out. All right, everyone, Cody here. Welcome back to Chicken Hole Base. Let's uh, boot up Robo Cody and connect it. So the first thing I wanted to address is a small bug that we discovered in Robo Cody's system in the last episode. You see, he picked up some dry ice, which is very cold. Cold enough, in fact, that it could cause damage to his hardware. When he's encountering cold objects, he's supposed to put on extra insulation to protect from the extreme cold. Now, that day, the ambient temperature was quite high, and so I think the dry ice was just a brief event that just didn't trigger the gloving process. Uh, fortunately, the exposure was brief enough that it didn't uh, cause any permanent damage, but I think it's worth going after this bug because, you know, small children watch this show, and I don't want people thinking they can touch dry ice after watching some robot do it. So to make it more obvious that he's a robot, I think the simplest thing to do is replace his fake skin with some something that doesn't look like skin. I'm going to have him remove his outer insulating glove and then the fake skin and then we're going to replace that with some just a black uh, vinyl glove and then put on the extra insulation over top of that and we're good to go. So now that that's out of the way, the next order of business is to check out a dark spot that I saw in the cliffs on the drone footage. Can't really get the drone close enough to see, and also I can't get RoboCody close enough to check it out either. Uh, these hills, loaded with iron, they block the signal. As soon as you lose line of sight, it's flat line. Uh, fortunately, RoboCody is able to come back to base in that event, but I am going to have to suit up and uh, go out on my own. Uh, well, I'm doing that, so I'm going to have Robo Cody uh, mix up some bee feed, so some sugar and also the pollen uh, for the you know, protein source so they can produce more bees. I noticed the bees were attracted to the chicken food the other day, so they're, they're looking for protein at this point. Okay, I have him do that. And I'll get suited up. You'll notice that I cleaned up my helmet. Looks a little better now, don't it? <laughs> also, I've decided to omit the armor, especially for long distance excursions. You know, the added weight is just a liability in those situations. Come up the hill and uh, park the bike. We're at the side of the what looked to be a cave. Have a look at this. The rocks look like they're almost burned. Interesting. Doesn't go back in there very far. Maybe six feet or so. These rocks have definitely been burned though. Look at that. Got a fire here. It's like the rats are packing stuff in there, filling in whatever hole it was present. Oh, look at this. 
petroglyphs. Nineteen twenty-three. Awesome. So that tells me this was probably a campsite. One of the earlier explorers. What's this over here? Just some rat droppings. The looks of it. They've piled up. Hmm. So yeah. You can tell somebody scraped these rocks. So this is a fresh surface. And we know the date that it was made fresh. So I can compare the amount of erosion that you see here to what you see here. So in a hundred years, this is the erosion rates. Now this is fairly shielded. But you know, it still gets blasted by wind and stuff. So, this surface is 100 years old. This surface over here, much, much older. Cool. Might have to come back and study this a little bit more. Maybe bring a metal detector. Well, I guess we'll head back to base. We've seen what we need to see. So there might be something else over here. Another little cave. Nothing major. Back on the bike. Since I was already suited up and Robo Cody had finished mixing up the bee feed, I decided to stop at the bees on my way back to base to give them their spring service, which mostly entails preparing the hive for warmer weather by turning the hive around so that the lighter side faces the sun, it'll absorb less sunlight, and removing the covers from the air vents, it'll get more ventilation. Both of these things will keep the hive cooler. And of course, giving them the bee feed, the pollen substitute, which gives them a protein source so they can build up their populations sooner so that they can more effectively take advantage of the short blooming season. I'm now back in the hab, suit's off. Let's uh, take control of him again and uh, dig some holes. Help me dig, bud. Huh? No thick algae mats this time. majority of the soil and the water has now been removed. The greenhouse is several tons lighter. So I'm going to put a post here with a jack. I'm going to lift up 
so that we can replace this beam here and insert the siding. Probably take that tarp off too, it's no longer needed. So there we are. It's probably as far as we're going to get this episode. The main showstopper was missing the driver bits to to run the screws into the siding. And without them I have no way of screwing it down. But you can kind of see what I'm getting off to. This insulation is going to be here and the siding is going to go over top of it. Uh, this board, I was going to have it screwed to the outside to hold the insulation in and then screw this siding to the board. The idea being that it would give an extra dead air space, extra insulation value, but I realized it would be loose. Around. So we're going to put this in flush, kind of like how these are. Just have to cut pieces and screw them in. It's not ideal, but it'll work. And then we can have the siding flat against the side with no space underneath of it. Yeah, hopefully we can have it completely enclosed next episode. It would be nice to have a little porch here, somewhere to set the buckets. You know what I'm working in there. I ended up detaching the lower sump from the main tank because I was having issues being able to move things around. And it looks like the seal failed. See, it was leaking water there. So I'm going to redo this seal, probably with some better sealant. Hopefully by the next episode we'll get another shipment of supplies and I'll be able to finish putting this greenhouse together, at least mostly finish it. It's only taken about two years to get this far. I did not expect it to take this long. Hopefully you guys are sticking with me and I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, that was cool. There it is.